Hello everybody, I'm going to show you how you can make event logs out of your s plant IFC model. Uh, so first of all, why do you want event logs and what is an event log? So let me first show you the event log. This is an example of an event log. Event log containing all the information, all the tasks which are connected to specific building elements. So how can you make this? Um, first of all, you have to make an s plant BIM model or an s plant IFC model more specific. As you can see here, this is the movie I recorded of how I connected this simple model to the simple planning. Um, I did it with Syngro and I exported this file to an IFC file. And this IFC file I translated uh, into an event log with BIM server. So this uh, this is what you get. And what can you do with it? I connected, uh, I merged more of these uh, event logs into one large event log. So this is an event log containing process information about four different projects and uh, containing uh, more than over uh, 80 different construction elements. And I can analyze, I can do all kind of analytics with those, uh, with this uh, event log. So, for example, I loaded this event log into um, into Disco, an event log of a, or a process mining tool, and as you can see, I can see all kind of uh, durations, analytics, uh, bottlenecks. Uh, I can do all kind of statistic analysis about it. I can see uh, what kind of process variants we have. I can ask the system give me all the processes which are aligned with for example uh, a floor element so let me give the specific floor element filter on the material which comes out of our BIM file and I can see here I've got two processes for my uh, for this floor element this is a very simplified but if you uh, you can imagine that you can do this also with very complex um, schedules and schemes. So now I'm going to explain you how you can use BIM server to translate your s plant IFC model into an event log. So let's start. Um, I've made my own. Uh, I started the BIM server and I make a new project. Let's call it Event Log Tutorial. Add. Um, I'm going to add a service. And it's called event log service. I'm gonna add this one. And okay, the event log service is made. I have to uh, adjust some settings. So I'm going to internal settings. I'm going to event log. And now I can adjust the settings of the um, of the of the file I have. So I have an S plant file and. I have to uh, give in the, where the parameters, material, and uh, classification code are located because they, those can differ, differ in all uh, projects. And I know in my project there are in this parameter. And the classification code, I don't have anyone in this project. So I'm going to save. I'm going to go to my project and I'm going to check in and use this file checking in new revision okay and as you can see this is my model and if I go to extended data there should be Event log. Okay, here it is. And if I download this one, let me see right there, event log. Okay. As you can see here, this is the event log I just created with the material parameter 
and as you can see here the material of the roof isn't available in this parameter but that is not a problem in here okay so now I created the event log and I have done this for several projects and I merged them into one large event log database or in this case it's just the Excel sheet and I can use this sheet for all kind of analytics if you want more information, you can read my re my master thesis report, which is published in the subscription below. Okay, if you have any questions, uh, you can always send me an email.